blessing. Mm -hmm. We're having challenges. We're being blessed, and we are not going to let it get us down. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> but I have three special blessings I want to share with you from the the uh, words here in Philadelphia. There's lots of blessings here, and it, it challenged me as I was studying this last night to wonder uh, why this church did not have any criticism, no negative comments at all. And I pulled out three reasons why. Now you listen, and I'm just going to read a few of the verses since we heard all of them. But see if you can find the three special things I chose to talk about. To the angel of the church in Philadelphia write, I know your deeds. See, I have placed before you an open door that no one can shut. I know that you have little strength, but yet you have kept my word and have not denied my name. Since you have kept my command to endure patiently, I will also keep you. Hold on to what you have so that no one will take your crown. Him who overcomes, I will make a pillar in the temple of my God. These are the three things that really stood out to me. God gave them an open door. Number two, they endured patience. Number three, he made them a pillar in the temple of God. That's how God worked through them. And I really like how the devotionals today from Brent and Jane just kind of build up to, today, to, to this reading to challenge us as Christians, whether we're traveling here in Turkey, the people that we meet, the 1% population is Christian, uh, we have an opportunity, we have an open door, just like the church here in Philadelphia. I love history. So when, last night when I was doing a little research on internet, I saw a couple places where the history books tell us that the church here in Philadelphia stood as an important junction of the road that ran from Rome through Troas, Pergamon, and Sardis, on through to Tarsus where Paul was born, and then even further east. God opened, gave them an open door here to make an impact. So then I asked myself, where does God want me to step through an open door? And many, many times in Lamar and my life, we have seen God open doors but it was our choice to step through it. My choice. We learned a lot through those open doors, but two things stand out. Number one, without God, the doors would never have opened. Number two, they were trusts given to me, a trust. God trusted them to me for faithful service. The adjective there is faithful. That's not always easy, but that's where we're blessed. Here in Turkey, we see pillars or columns. You know, all those columns, some are falling down. Mm -hmm. We see those pillars that stood over the centuries for stability, for service, for ornamentation. Some are falling. When and where does God want me to stand as a strong pillar? here in Turkey, but especially as I return back home to serve as a follower of Jesus, no, as a faithful follower of Jesus like the church here in Philadelphia, not compromising, which is so easy. Okay, an open door, endured patiently, and made a pillar, like Brent and Jane especially Jane, stood as a pillar of God in the temple, in the synagogue. <laughs> there's a song that really, to conclude, there's a song that really means a lot to me, and I'm not sure if everyone knows it. Uh, it's titled, Faith of Our Fathers, Holy Faith, In Spite of Dungeon, Fire, and Sword. And then it ends, We will be true, we will be faithful to thee till death. I've asked Sue to sing it, and if some of us know it, we're going to sing with her. If not, she is very capable to sing a solo. No, 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 you sing, help me, okay? <laughs> Faith of our fathers, living still, in spite of dungeon, fire, and sword, oh, how our hearts be
God, we don't really know what that means. We will be true to thee to death, but we want to be that so much. And we ask that you would continue to open the doors so that we can faithfully serve you and make us a pillar for you where you plant us in your kingdom work. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. amen.